A unique edtech platform has just completed its first equity crowdfunding, raising $1.9 million. One question helps parents get their kids to study, while the kids get to continue to use screen time. I know that sounds like a pretty good incentive for parents and kids. To tell us more about it is co-founder Isaac El Nakab. Isaac, welcome to the show. Thanks. Nice, nice, to, have, nice to be here. Yeah, uh, it's a rare moment because we are going to <laughs> sort of right. change yep. our model, but we've still got a little bit of time. So great to have you in. Um, now, tell us about one question and, and what an amazing response you had from crowdfunding. One point nine million dollars. Yeah, we had a, a, a sensational response. Four hundred and fifty one investors Australia wide. Um, and, you know, the value proposition really, really resonates, especially with parents. So if you've got kids, you probably have the same issue that I do, which is, God, my kids are always on their devices, mm -hmm. can't get them off, and geez, I wish they did something more productive with their time. Mm -hmm. And that is the, uh, the problem the one question solves. So how does it solve it? Take us through the process so people can wrap their heads around it. Super simple. You download one question onto your child's device, and you tell the app what year your kid is in school, and what you'd like them to study. We started off with math, but you'll be able to choose math, science, English. And then the app tells you what other apps are installed on your kid's phone. And from there, you just create target apps. So you pick TikTok, YouTube, Among Us, Fortnite, Roblox, all the way down the line, all mm -hmm. of those apps that you know my daughters are constantly on, and you simply hand the phone back to your kid. From there on in, whenever they want to fire up a TikTok or a YouTube, First, they need to answer a curriculum correct question. And in the back end, we've built a really powerful engine that begins to understand the, uh, the student's areas of strength and weakness. And as it does, it can create a custom pathway through the curriculum. So your wife, Anne, is co-founder. Correct. Uh, yep. Tell us a little bit about the kitchen conversation that led to one question. You know, uh, you, one question was founded almost, I mean, the, the idea came about almost a year to the day. Uh, we were in lockdown in Sydney, and looks like we might get back there again. And, we, and, and all of the girls were in the lounge room, you know, which is rare. I've got mm. three daughters. They're always in their rooms, but they're all in the lounge room. And, and honestly, they could have been on different planets. They were all on their devices. My wife turned to me, and she said, I'll fix this. And, and I, I went, H how? I mean, we, we, we've tried everything before. But what she said next was absolutely brilliant. She said, I want our youngest daughter to answer a times table question before she can get onto TikTok. And I just went, you know what? That's awesome. Find the app, download it. I'm in. Two hours later, she came back because there is no app. So let's build it. And here we are. Absolutely brilliant. Now, um, th the idea of the app is it's designed up to age 12. Correct. Um, uh, you've got to go bigger, surely. I yes. mean, I've got a 16 year old who's now starting to study yes. for his um, high school certificate, yes. uh, and probably similar issues. So yeah. um, if I can get him into a bit more Shakespeare, I'd be yeah. delighted. Yeah. Um, are you gonna build it out with the yeah. money you've just raised? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we started off with content for a year one to six. Mm -hmm. uh, we released year seven uh, two weeks ago. Year eight and nine are coming online uh, next week. And year 10, 11, and 12 are following shortly thereafter in terms of math. But we have had such an amazing response from kids themselves asking for things like, hey, I want to get rules of the road because I want to get my driver's license. Ah. Or uh, I want to get, I've got an exam on Hamlet. I'd like to get more of that content in there. Or, I've, you know, I get, my, my youngest daughter whose first words to me was, dad, this is a dog act when, <laughs> when we first put it on. <laughs> you know, I mean, today she calls me, she says, hey, well, I got a geography exam. Can we load the geography questions on there? Wow. Yep. You're so, a legend now. <laughs> I'm far from it. I think my wife is the legend here. Now, um, $2.99 is the subscription, so yes. it's quite affordable. Yep. Um, sounds, can, can as a parent, how can you engage and keep control and make sure what's going on? And if you are a particularly mean parent like me, for example, could you <laughs> load three questions in that they have to answer before they get to their app? That's a great question. Uh, well, we've got two apps. We've got a parent app and we've got the child app. The parent app uh, provides you with a real-time dashboard of how your child is doing. Um, it also provides you with sort of information around like how many questions they answered, how much time they spent asking those questions or answering those questions. That's time that you sort of stole from uh, unproductive apps. But it gets into AI classifications and tells you exactly what areas your child can improve on and what areas they're excelling in. Um, and it allows you to configure the profile, which means that if you are a particularly mean parent, you know, yes, you can 
set it up to three questions. I mean, in the early days, we had an unlimited amount, but we had some overzealous moms putting it to 10 questions before a child answers. And you know, ultimately, there's, a, there's a, a photo of me in the kid's room, and they're throwing darts in my face. So well, we don't want that. Yeah, yeah. You have to find the happy medium. Yeah. Now, uh, you launched in April, and yes. the last number I had was 13,000 downloads. Yeah. I'd imagine it's probably Zoomed since yes. then. Yes. Where are you up to? And paint a picture of your ambitions for 12 months from now. Look, I mean, the, the, the uptake's been phenomenal. So to, to achieve those 13,000 downloads in such a short period of time is incredible. Uh, but really where we're going uh, is something that is well beyond kids. Um, what one question does at its core is it, it takes your existing behavior online and it sort of takes a, a, a tiny portion of that and redirects it into productive time. So that if you wanted to learn a foreign language, instead of having to um, engage with a dedicated foreign language app, you'd be able to load the foreign language module into one question. You, or myself, anyone. So one question is much bigger than kids. We want to allow anyone to learn anything from any subject matter expert. I'm, I'm imagining you could almost load on the top. Have you taken your mask today? Yes. <laughs> have you washed your hands? Yeah. And have, have you had your vaccine? Yet? Yeah, my wife would come in with, have you walked the dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all of those things. Look, Isaac, great to have you on. Congrats Thank you. on the raise. Thank and you. look forward to seeing one question roll out. And I'll give it a crack and see how my children react. Awesome. Let me know. Thanks for having me on the show. Thanks for your time. All righty.